It's currently 2.30 a.m. I made a little chicken burger with a sausage and some coffee. I'm so hungry. I also just came out of the shower and washed my hair and showered. I'm going to sit in the living room and watch some YouTube because I'm trying to stay up so I can sleep tomorrow so I, so I can sleep today in the day so I can go to work at night. So that's where I'm at. Hello you guys, so I'm home and I'm trying to straighten my hair to go to this barbecue because that's what I've decided that I'm going to do to my hair. So we have one part already going and I'm using my little timer or whatever it's called. And this is basically how I do it. I think I've showed you guys already. Try to make sure that the roots are nice and flat. As y'all know, I have a little bit of color on my ends. And then we just I came home with a worse headache that almost stopped me from going to this thing. So I just made some lemon, some orange peel tea. And um God, I need to fix my lashes. I made some orange peel tea. And I'm going to find something to eat in a second here. I'm going to try and see if I could take a little nap when my mom comes home. She should be here at around 5, so pretty soon, really. And then, you know, we're going to see where the day takes us. Nine times out of ten, my hair is going to be in one glob of a ponytail. But, um, yeah, this is what we're looking like. One, one half is damn near done. Hello everyone. Well, it is currently 1.24 p.m. well into the day and we started the day off. Okay. I'm um, currently in the kitchen. This is going to be Mia's lunch. Cherries, blackberries, and I don't even know what this other thing is called, but she likes it. And um, we're going to give her her cup of water as well when she's done. So she's going to eat that. I have her in her... I think this is called a smock and everything so that her cute little outfit does not get dirty. Look at her little bow in her hair. Yeah, so she's going to eat and she's going to drink her water. Hopefully she doesn't toss anything off and I'm about to hop into the shower. But let me tell you guys really quickly what I've been doing all morning. So guys, this morning I come home from work. My mom leaves in a couple of days here. So very saddened. But um, this morning I come home from work and um my sister's pregnant i i don't think i've ever mentioned this on here but by the time you guys see this it doesn't matter <laughs> not that it matters anyway but my sister's pregnant now all the things that i've been using for me the entire time i've been keeping a lot of them and i kept the clothes mainly because my mom said to keep them um i don't know that my sister's baby is a girl we don't know yet but in the beginning of my pregnancy, in some of my pregnancy videos, I did share with you guys that I wanted to keep things very gender neutral for this specific reason. I wanted to be able to give the stuff to somebody else afterwards, and they're not like gender specific just in case the person's not having that gender. So a lot of Mia's clothes were gender neutral, and I was able to hand them down to my sister, and then the other stuff, my mom is going to do whatever she wants with those. And a lot of the things that we have here, um, she could also use. I had... Um, and another sippy cup. Mia's godmother bought her her sippy cups, but the pack came with three. One is like blue or green, and I arranged it and like handed it, um, put it there to give her. I gave her my bottle warmer. I gave her a bottle sterilizer. I gave her a thermos. I gave her the little thing that you put formula in. I'm giving her so many things that I've had and that I've used for Mia because one, you just pass things down, and that's something every family does. Because when I used to nanny. For the rich 
they keep their baby stuff and they hand it down to a sister, brother, cousin, sister-in-law, brother-in-law who have babies and they kind of keep it in the family. The things that deteriorate over the years and those get thrown away and replaced. But the things that are still good and in good condition, they keep those and they continue to pass those down. Especially the baby, I'm going to say appliances, the baby stuff. The literature that Mia used to sit in, um, you know, stuff like that. Uh, diaper genie, this, that, all of those things get passed down. I'm like, that's great. So I've spent the morning packing up stuff to give my sister because my mom is going to ship a box and possibly a barrel. And so I wanted to just get everything together. This is going to offset the cost of having a baby for them because a lot of the stuff that I'm sending is going to save them some money in the baby appliance department. So the living room looks absolutely asinine. It just doesn't make sense. So as we know it, my mom has her stuff that she's packing, most of which are on this side here. You know, this entire... Over here, I have this stuff that I found for my sister. Oh, I'm giving her Mia's bath as well. And this little, uh, like, peanut pillow that I used to put her in. Um, just all the things that I have that I think she could be used. Babies only see black and white in the first however long. I don't really know. So I have that and, like, some other things. And this thing that I had bought but I never ended up using it because I didn't like the organization of it but just all the little things that I've had I'm giving her um Mia has a high chair and she has a little another little thing here that I had bought I don't know if you guys remember I'm contemplating between which one of those to give her for the baby and maybe it's going to make sense to give her um this one and leave Mia's high chair as is i don't really know i kind of wanted to consolidate stuff though and, and keep but this one I, you can't strap the baby down in over their shoulders and i feel like it's necessary for mia because the thing she's going to do is try to get out of the chair before you're ready for her to and as you guys know or maybe you don't know my dining table is counter height my bar stools are bar stools counter height and so they're too high and i don't want her to try and like escape or whatever so i don't really know as well as it could still work out but also that's trapped in this closet over here and again there's so many things packed in front of that closet my mom said when she comes um today she's gonna open it up so that i can um go in there and like take stuff out or whatever because i have a thing of wigs that i need to give her to among other things that i have inside of that drawer inside there so um we're gonna see when she comes i'm just trying to declutter and um you know size down with a lot of things because when my mom is gone this living room needs to look like not even Mia lives here because I'm stressed out with how it's looking right now. But I'm going to hop in the shower really quickly. I just put this top on so I can talk to you guys. I'm going to hop in the shower, come back out. It's hot as balls, you know, whatever. Hi, y'all. Just coming home from work. The other day I'm at work and the charger was on vacation for about two weeks. So she came back and she was like, Oh my goodness, I just remembered that I had a gift for you guys from Christmas. She gave us this. This I'm so very excited about because these are so very good. And she gave us a throw. When I tell you the throw is so freaking soft. This is going to be on my couch. I love this. But I had left it um, in my friend's car and I just got it back because the morning when I left it with her, um, I ended up staying over. She suggested that um, she puts it in the car and ended up staying over so I didn't get it back until now. So freaking soft. Also, it's the oversized ones. I love this. I love this. This is going to go so nicely with my um, couch. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Last night was such a trash shift. Oh my god. I might have had the worst one to one I've had in a very long time. He was acting up. Extremely bad. Every 15 minutes I'm documenting patient is extremely um, combative. Patient is aggressive. Patient is... Oh my god, he was... And then the doctor comes, of course, because you call them to do something about it. Give the patient something. They give Ativan four times and the Ativan does nothing. And they continue giving the Ativan. So, I mean, I don't know. 
somebody is slow somewhere along the way. But again, we, we always have to keep in mind that these doctors are practicing. They're, they're learning. They're not real doctors yet. So cute. When my mom leaves and I get my living room back to the standard that it's typically at, this is going to look really nice. Oh, I'm going to drape it on there now anyway. So Mia is at the stage where she now, every time I come home, she's looking for me to have something for her because I do it so often. So I stopped at Dunkin' and I bought her a croissant. She likes croissants. My mom had bought some mini ones and all oh, she was tearing them up. So I bought her a croissant. I don't know what I'm going to give her with that for breakfast, but we'll see. She's probably awake right now anyway, because normally as soon as I come up in here, she's awake. I bought a matcha too, so good. I haven't had a matcha in a minute. I'm so excited about the cup that she gave us though. When taking pills, I'm the person who puts the water in my mouth first and then I put the pill because I don't want the pill to touch my tongue. I'm a texture person. The pill just touched the back of my throat and that was not great. Zero out of 10. I would not recommend that. 